Shape tweening is the ability that Flash has to convert one shape to another. And so instead of animating something by hand to sort of morph into a new shape, Flash can do all that work for you. Uh, there's a couple of ingredients in order to make a shape tween work correctly. First of all, you got to have two keyframes, a starting point and an ending point. Secondly, on both keyframes there have to be shapes. On the first keyframe is the shape you're starting with and on the last keyframe is the shape you're ending with. And when I say shape, I mean Flash's definition of a shape, uh, not a grouped object, not a symbol, just a, uh, a shape. Okay, so here's how we'll set this up. I've got an empty keyframe here by default at frame number one. I'm going to name my layer shape tween <clears throat> And I will start by drawing a an oval. It's a good idea to avoid using strokes when uh, when shape tweening, because Flash thinks of a fill and a stroke as two separate shapes. So it's more to animate. It's more to keep track of. Uh, keep it simple and just turn your stroke um, off. Let me run this off the page so you can see that a little better. When you choose your stroke color, you can just choose that, and that means it won't draw the stroke. Okay, uh, so I'll draw my oval over here on the left side of the stage. If you hold down the shift key while you draw it, it forces you to draw a perfect circle. And there it is. I'll go out to frame 24, and I'll hit F6 to create a new keyframe. And what I want to point out here is that right now, frame 1 and frame 24 are exactly the same. Both of these frames have a red ball on the left side of the stage. And that's important because I can go to this keyframe and I can delete the ball. That's okay, it's still on frame 1. In fact, since that's the first keyframe and there's no other keyframes all the way out through frame 23, the red ball stays put right there the whole time. The only place the computer is getting new instructions is on keyframes. So if that's the only keyframe, that's what you get. On frame 24, we have a new keyframe, and now we can draw a different shape. So I'm going to draw a, uh, a rectangle, and I'll draw it on the right side. We'll just do a square. I'll hold down shift and make a square, and grab my selection tool, and I think that's pretty close. I'll move it down just a bit. Okay, so we've got uh, all the ingredients in place. We have two keyframes on frame one and again on frame 24. On both of the keyframes we have a shape. So this is a shape, you can see right up there it says shape. And on frame 24 on that keyframe this is a shape. You can see it right up there it says shape. If it says grouped object what you'll need to do is go to the modify menu and choose either break apart or ungroup and that will take care of it. <clears throat> okay, with all the ingredients in place let's create our shape tween. I'm going to right click or control click uh, on this gray box in the timeline and choose create shape tween. And there it is. If I hit the return key we can watch it turn from a circle on the left to a square on the right. There you go. If I hit Apple Return, get our SWF file up here, and we can watch it in a loop, and you can see that it's turning into a square from a circle. If you don't get this arrow here, this in this green box, if you have a bunch of dots, that means that your shape tween is broken, and you probably don't have the ingredients set up correctly. Meaning, check both of your keyframes, you probably have a grouped object on one of them. For, for some reason it can't calculate the tween and usually it's because uh, they're not shapes. If you get the green arrow then everything is working as it should and it is uh, tweening correctly. Now you gotta be careful uh, if you want to tween more than one shape into something else then um, you need to put all the animations on separate layers. So for example if I go here and I try to draw another one like a, a blue oval down below it that I want to turn into um, let me change the color and I want to turn this one into a blue square 
Well, uh, since they're on the same layer, they're both trying to turn into the red square. So that is not what I was going for. I mean, maybe that is what you're going for, and if that's the case, that's fine. But just be aware of the limitations. If you want to turn this into something separate, you've got to have it on a separate layer. So let me um, create a new layer. We'll call this shape tween two. Whoops, <laughs> I said three. And uh, what I'll do is I'll click on this keyframe. Notice when I click on this keyframe on the shape tween and the first shape tween layer, both of these light up. Uh, that means those are both on the same layer. So I'm going to deselect that. I'm just going to select the circle. And I'm going to choose Apple X, which is the same as Edit Cut. I'm going to click on this empty keyframe on the second shape tween layer. And I'm going to do Edit Paste in Place. And that puts it right back in the same spot, just on a different layer. And now only the red square is tweening. I can go down to the end here of uh, on this layer and insert a keyframe. And on this keyframe, since this one is now the same as that first one, I can delete the blue circle and create a blue rectangle. And as long as they're both shapes, okay, we got all the ingredients right. Shape on this keyframe and a shape on this keyframe. We can now right click or control click here and choose create shape tween. And there it is.